welcome back. This is Raven's Bullis, and I would like to discuss this game. Red Faction Remastered. Uh, you heard me right. It's not remastered. It's remastered. It's backwards on here, so you can't see it. But uh, it's R-E-M-A-R-S-T-E-R-E-D. So they put Mars in the title. Um, I played this game uh, back in 2009 on the PS3, fell in love with it, um, and my PS3 still works, it's just not as great as it used to, so I was glad to finally pick up, they uh, redid this, uh, which is great too because the original studio that did it shut down, um, same thing for... Um, Saints Row, that's why we got the, the new spin-off Saints Row game. It's not from the original uh, Violation. Um, so this one was done by uh, THQ Nordic. So they like, what I heard there was a merge and they rebought them and stuff. It's complicated, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, so you play Daniel Mason. Um, he, sorry, it's not Daniel Mason. Anyways, you, that's his brother. You play Mason, who um, is on Mars. He just transferred from Earth to meet his brother. He finds out his brother is part of this huge, like, revolt on Mars against the EDF, which is uh, the Earth Defense Faction. They basically treat everyone on Mars like shit. Um, the miners and stuff, they're arresting them for stupid reasons, uh, not telling them why they're arresting them. Um, they go out so far to, like, execute people, like just because they feel like it um, because there is no official like Mars jurisdiction everything's run under the Earth Corporation and they're basically using Mars to like mine all the resources for Earth uh, long story short so you find out your brother's part of this red faction you get involved with it because your brother gets killed this guy picks you up and then so you start fighting for red faction uh, the whole objective is there's six zones on Mars uh, there's like a corporate zone. Um, there is a red part of Mars, but they terraformed it So you'll find areas that are like really green and stuff um, You can destroy everything basically other than landscape. That's what I love about it. You have your sledgehammer. You have your uh, bombs. You have uh, Rocket launchers. You have saw blades. You have just anything mining you think other than the rocket launcher obviously uh, There's a nano rifle too that just disintegrates everything which is awesome um so here's the thing, like it, the, uh, the graphics are the graphics are not going to be up, updated. It's not a remake; it is a remaster, so it's going to have more polish. It looks more colorful. Um, you know, where red is red, it's brighter. Uh, where it's darker, it's supposed to be more polished out. It looks fine. Um, though the thing is, they kept all the glitches and the bugs from the original PS3. Um, you can easily get past that. They're not bad. They're bearable because I did play them back in 2009. Um, I just would have wished they kind of fixed some of that. Um, you'll experience some like uh, button er errors where like it gets out of car, you press triangle and you keep trying to do it, but what happens is the game's like, no, you want to get out of the car, you want to get out, you want to get out, you want to get back up. So um, that happens a little bit so often. Uh, you may experience a crash, but the crashes are very far in between. You're not going to be like, oh, I fucking hate this game. I don't know why I bought this game. Um, but I am happy with this game. I give this game like an 8.5. I would give it a little bit higher if they had like kept, uh, kind of fixed the bugs from 2009. That's my only issue with the game. I just beat uh, the main campaign. It does come with a multiplayer. I don't know how active the multiplayer is right now. There's probably not very active. Uh, it does come with a uh, the DLC where it takes place before um, Red Faction, uh, the grill of the game, where you play some Marauders. I got into that a little bit. I've only experienced like one crash. Um, I like it. There's brand new weapons in there. There's new vehicles. Um, it was a, it's a great experience. Like I said, I love the game. If you like open world games, uh, like faction based games, uh, taking control of like areas by you know uh, doing raids, um, capturing positions. There's um, mechs in this game, which I love, like construction mechs. There's also mechs with like missiles on them and rocket pods. There's tanks, um, there's like APCs with guns on the top, because like the ADF is heavily armed. Uh, remember, you're a guerrilla force, you do hit and run tactics, so you can take over vehicles and uh, use them, which is amazing. 
So, like I said, final verdict, I give Red Faction Remastered uh, a 8.5 due to the 2009 bugs that weren't fixed in it, but I highly recommend you get it, and it's only $40, so don't forget to pick it up. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to Raven Bullis on YouTube for more reviews, uh, Dead by Daylight stuff, Call of Duty, and check out my Twitch channel. I'll catch you guys later.